imagine checking your door cam and seeing this gang stalker of a goon like right outside your door with a machete um would you be a little spooked would you go for your firearm like 4 a.m that is literally the antipathy of the 3 a.m meme you ever see uh, 3 a.m go look it up online Ah, uh, yes. Machete-welding meth heads in the middle of the night. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. How would you like to check your door cam and to come across something like that? A little incident that happened locally, and uh, I don't have all the videos and info on it, uh, I saw the videos, but I don't have them all. But if you remember, uh, I had mentioned a cautionary tale for storage shed owners and stuff, and uh, was discussing recently about things uh, getting broke into around here and uh, the drug issues. Imagine checking your door cam and seeing this gang stalker of a goon. Like... <laughs> Right outside your door with a machete. Um, would you be a little spooked? Would you go for your firearm? I mean, I don't have any, you know, firearms really. I just, you know, have an axe. But if he's got a machete, I would like to, you know, ask him a question. If somebody, like 4 a.m., that is literally the antipathy of the 3 a.m. meme. You ever see uh, 3 a.m.? Go look it up online. That is literally the antipathy of the 3 a.m. meme. Um, and this was shared around on, uh, you know, unfamiliar face. This was shared around locally on Facebook because I'm from a small town. It's a tight-knit community. Anything and everything that happens, everybody knows about it. And even more so now that the... Uh, Gossip train has reached into the information eight, and uh, oops, I just realized that the uh, username for this guy's uh, door cam video was still on there. But here he is at one house, and uh, he went around several yards prancing around with a machete. And uh, this, I think, is at another house, <clears throat> and I do believe uh, that one of the houses he visited was uh, an old friend and associates of mine, you know, so he's literally like walking around in my friend's yards with a machete, middle of the night, probably tripped up out of his mind on Lord knows what drugs. Now... What what do you think would have happened if somebody had opened the door? You know, what, what's the possibility? A guy that is messed up on drugs. And I'm not trying to, like, hate on the guy. I know these drugs, like meth and stuff, you know, the people that are on them are suffering. It's terrible. I mean, it's it's terrible for the user and it's terrible for the community, you know. Luckily, the sheriff's department picked this guy up, and hopefully he can get some treatment and some help and some time to, uh, you know, get it out of his system, pun intended. Um, but, get it, time. <laughs> Do some time, <laughs> you know. Um, so it was good that, you know, nobody got hurt or anything. Not the suspect, not the uh, any of the residents, not any of the police. It's good that uh, nothing bad happened because this could have been bad. That's a big blade. And 
say some elderly person opened the door and then some guy who's not quite in his right mind, either through drugs or other mental health issues, went into their house, you know, and they weren't able to defend themselves and chop, chop, you know. From my understanding, and you can kind of see it from the photo also, uh, this guy is wet all the way up to the legs. So the, the theory is... I'm making sure there's no identifying marks there. You, know, you can see this is on the 23rd, the 5th or the 23rd. Amazon uh, Nest door cam. Um, the theory is he went up the creeks. That's what was being... That was my uh, information and intel on this. But also... I'll tell you if, you, if you ever seen demonic possession, that would be it right there. This is literally the antipathy of the 4 a.m. or 3 a.m. me. Third shift me. Can't make this shit up. Uh, that's spooky. But anyway, from my understanding, and I showed these uh, photos, you know, to some locals around town while I was coming back. I went and uh, visited some uh, friends and associates for the holidays and just, you know, it was it was a really, really great visit. And this is one of the topics uh, of that visit, which I had already heard about through the grapevine, through my aunt. Then I get over there and I'm like, oh yeah, did you know that was in our yard? I'm like, wow, really? <laughs> small, small world. Uh, because I had been hearing, you know, my aunts and uncles, they had to get, lock your doors. There's a guy prancing around with a machete. I was like, what are you talking about? They said, there's a guy running around outside with a machete and going to people's houses and stuff. I was like, does he have a hockey mask on? Is his name Voorhees? You know, I thought it was a joke. I thought it was a fucking joke. Um, but no. No, it was legit. And... Even more crazy and messed up, as it turns out, it was like in my friends and associates' yards down the road. And um, like I said, my buildings had been broken into, and my neighbor's buildings had been broken into. And uh, again, coming back from from the visit with, with friends and associates, which was a great visit, by the way, if any of them are watching right now, uh, I stopped by a few local shops to pick up some parts for my truck. Because my truck needs repairs and needs fixed up, as we all know. <laughs> the 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 tailgate handle broke recently. I had to get a new tailgate uh, handle. That's another thirty bucks down the drain. Because Ford wanted to make those things out of plastic for some reason instead of metal, but that's neither here nor there. I stopped and I showed these photos to uh, the clerk just because we're sitting there shooting the bull. He's showing me stuff, and you know, we're just, he's just a cool guy cool guy had his own story you know he recently got rammed by a truck and broke his collarbone and i was like hey bro check this out and uh he's like yeah and he said the exact same thing that i've been saying like 10 years like the past 10 years this has been getting really really bad the meth and the drugs and stuff here has been getting really mad and we don't know why but he said and told me at least um he lives on a road you know where they're basically importing it in from you know across state lines they're coming down from west virginia from bradshaw and war west virginia from my understanding and from what he was telling me and uh he said there had been several accidents and wrecks and arrests and stuff just up and down his road because he lives on the uh the road between here and there and he says they'll they'll come down from west by god fucking virginia pardon my french and, uh, smuggling it down here. Because most of the locals down here, they're not, you know, I've been here my whole life on and off. And, uh, the drugs and stuff like this, it was never this bad. Uh, I mean, there's always been, like I've mentioned before, there's always been something crazy going for such small areas for such small towns, there's always been something crazy like this going on. Um, but the drugs have gotten really bad. And it's bad for everyone, except maybe the, the people selling it and pushing it. You know, maybe they're making money, but I think, I think at the end it's even bad for them. Uh, but yeah, that happened. And I've, I was 
talking about it long before it happened. And uh, just, you know, what would you do if you came about? Or what would you do if you would, you, you know, put it down in the comments? What would you do? <laughs> I asked the clerk what he would do. <laughs> it involved a firearm. <laughs> he said, yeah, I'd probably, I'd probably be getting my gun. I'm like, I, I would not blame you one bit, brother. Because, um, yeah, imagine 4 a.m. meth man with a machete. Meth man with a machete at midnight. That's going to be what I uh, named this guy. If you found this video useful or entertaining, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe as it really helps the channel out. You can also leave questions and comments down below. Until next time, take care, thanks for watching, and bye-bye.